All right, so this is a revisit of selective edits because selective edits is something you should be doing in your self-portraits. I'm actually going to use not a self-portrait photo, but here's what I was looking at when I was looking at this picture. I really liked the lines along the edge. I liked how it was going back in space, so you had a little bit of a vanishing point. And then I liked how the um, arrows were really coming forward towards me. Things I don't like about this picture, in the back, the um, picture is uneven, and you have fairly even contrast, even tones everywhere, so I'd like to create some drama. Um, so one thing I will do, just really quickly first, is go under crop, and I'm not actually going to crop it just yet, I am just going to rotate it a little bit. So that things get slightly balanced out. That's better. Now I'm going to go to Selective, and that's one of the tools I'd like you guys to use today. Um, I'd like you to go to Tap Selective, and then there's a blue dot up here. You're going to tap that. And that has three options. I can either use a paintbrush, a circular filter, or a gradient. I know I've played with this a little bit before, so let's go to the gradient. And what that's going to allow me to do is add kind of a band across the top. So rather than painting in little details, it just lets me very quickly drag and drop where things should be. So, sorry, the news is coming up. And you can see that it rotates and flips. And you have the, the blue square is the center point to this. And then I can drag and drop, and you can see how it's gonna kind of fade things. And I can put my finger on those parallel lines and drag things that way. So once I have that set in place, there's this pink color over the top of it. That's simply just, um, it's called a mask. It's let me know where it's going to make the changes. And now from here, I can go under the light slider. And like I'm going to bring that down so that there's less attention in the background. I want everything to be all about this arrow in the front. I can also drop the contrast in the back too if I want to take detail out of that back. Um, and I can pull the shadows down even a little bit. Whites, I don't want to bring anything up. I want all, everything in the back, back there to kind of go dark for me. Okay, cool. So now I'm pleased with that. And if I tap on the square on the side, it's gone. Okay. Now, Let's say I'm ready to make another type of adjustment. So I would like to continue to use, let's use a different tool here. Um, I'm going to tap that. And let's say I want to use the circular filter. And I'm going to drag. And I'm just using like pinching the way you would on any touch screen surface. And make... This, go up, one finger. Once I've set the circle in place, I switch to holding on those white dots and dragging and um, making the size. Now I really want to make this pop out. So right now let's switch. Nope, that's good enough. Now if I go to light, I'm going to up the contrast right there in that little circle. I'm going to brighten the whites in that circle too. I want to do it in a way that's still believable, but makes things pop out. So it looks pretty good. So now I have taken away, if I go back to the original of it, tap and hold, there's the original, and here's where I am now. Now the bottom down here, well let's look at, um, one more time, let's look at brush, okay? So if I wanted to just do some sort of shape, some, something that wouldn't really fit as a shape. I'm going to go with the brush right there that's kind of soft. I'm going to paint right in here just by painting right on the picture itself. And then the same thing, go down to those tools, bring the exposure down. Now obviously that looks horrible. If I go here, and actually I don't like the way it's going up on the wall. If I tap and I go to the eraser, 
I can go up here and erase some of the mask that I made. And say, that looks sloppy, I don't like that. So I can erase it. And then, so right now it's still on eraser mode. I just have to go back and tap. So I get the red dot. <clears throat> Again, drop it down. So it's like I'm just bringing more attention to that area. I'm gonna bring down the blacks a little bit, bring down the whites a little bit. Cool. And then the last thing that I don't like about this picture is this edge of sidewalk. So I'm gonna go back to crop and I'm gonna choose, I think I wanna do this one as a five by seven and slide this around so everything's right in the middle. Boom, there you go. So, original photo and after. Original and after.